How to do long multiplication. We have a question here, 768 times 32. Long multiplication is going to be the best method for doing this question. And we're going to set it out like this. 768 times 32. So we've lined up the 1s and we've lined up the 10s. And we're going to draw a line there. Now, long multiplication is just short multiplication twice and then adding up the answers. So we have 768 times 2 and 768 times 30. So the first thing we do is 768 times 2. When we do this method, like short multiplication, we're going to do 2 times 8, then we're going to do 2 times 6, then we're going to do 2 times 7. So we do the 1s times the 1s, the 1s times the 10s, the 1s times the 100s. So let's make a start. 2 times 8 is 16. 2 times 6 is 12, add the 1 is 13. Now, just a reminder that this isn't 2 times 6, it's 2 times 60 or 2 times 6 tens. However, for this method, we can say to ourselves 2 times 6. So we've done one, 2 times 8 and 2 times 6. Now we need to do 2 times 7. 2 times 7 is 14. Add the 1 is 15. Now we've got this 1 here and there's nothing else to multiply 2 by. So that 1 just goes there. So that's the first line. An important part of long multiplication is to check as you go along. If you make a mistake here or here, anything that you add up at the end is going to be wrong. So it's really important to check that you're doing it correctly. 2 times 8 is 16. 2 times 6 is 12. Add the 1 is 13. You can see the 13 there. 2 times 7 is 14. Add the 1 is 15. And there was nothing else to do, so the 1 just goes in the box there. Let's look at the next line. 768 times 30. Now, because we're multiplying by a multiple of 10, which we're going to put a 0 here. Now, this is something that people sometimes forget. There's a little phrase that says, be a hero, remember the zero. Put a capital B there. Okay, so same method, but we're going to start with the three, the three tens, and we're going to go to the ones. So we're going to do three times eight, and then we're going to do three times six, and then we're going to do 3 times 7. 3 times 8 is 24. And I'm going to put that 2 on the line there. Put the 4 there. 3 times 6 is 18. Add the 2 is 20. 3 times 7 is 21. Add the 2 is 23. So let's check that, because again, if we make a mistake here and add up, it will be wrong. We've put in our 0. 3 times 8 is 24. 3 times 6 is 18. Add 2 is 20. 3 times 7 is 21. Add the 2 is 23. So our answers to the first two lines are 1,536, 23,000, and 40. So the last part is to add the two answers together. 6 add 0 is 6. 3 add 4 is 7. So just normal column addition. 5 add 0 is 5. 1 add 3 is 4. And 2 add nothing is 2. So the answer is 
24,576. Now, if you wanted to just get an approximate feel if that was correct, what we could do is round this to the nearest 100, which would make 800, and round this to the nearest 10, so which would be 30, so 768 to the nearest 100 is 800, and 32 to the nearest 10 is 30, and then 800 times 30 is 24,000. So it looks like it's approximately correct. So I'm feeling quite good that we've probably got the right answer. However, I'm just going to go through it one more time. 2 times 8 is 16. 2 times 6 is 12. Add the 1 is 13. 2 times 7 is 14. Add the 1 is 15. Put the 1 in there. Be a hero. Remember the 0. 3 times 8 is 24. 3 times 6 is is 18, add the 2 is 20, 3 times 7 is 21, add the 2 is 23, 6, 7, 5, 4 and 2, 24,576. I'm happy that's the right answer. That's how you do long multiplication.